There are a lot of Pokemon that exist in the Teal Mass, and each one of them are going to have their own evolution method. In this video, I'll be going over all 50 plus evolution methods you need for all the new and returning ones. By the way, to make your lives easier, I'm listing every single Pokemon out down in the description below. So just look for the Pokemon you want to evolve, click on the timestamp, and that should bring you right to the spot in the video. All right, let's get into it so you can complete your decks. Luckily for everyone in this game, all these Pokemon you find are extremely overleveled in the Teal Mask, which means you're just going to need pretty much one level in order to do this. But a lot of people will be breeding their Pokemon, and you're going to need to know the exact level of when this is going to happen. Now, Poltergeist is an interesting Pokemon because it actually has two forms, an authentic one and a non-authentic one. And it's very subtle to see the stamp or the marking that is underneath it. But if it is a non-authentic one, you're going to be needing the unremarkable teacup in order to evolve it. You can easily find one of these teacups by going all the way to the Paradise Barrens area. And once you're there, you're going to find a cave very close by. You're going to walk into that cave and then there's going to be a Pokeball item there. And that item will be what you need. Just go ahead and place it on Poltergeist and it will evolve into a Sinistra. If you have a legitimate Poltergeist that has the mark on it, then you're going to have to use the Masterpiece Teacup, which will only work on that Pokemon. So in the Timeless Woods, once you go there, there's going to be a cave located right over here at this spot where you're going to find a Snorlax. Once you defeat that Snorlax, you can go inside of here. And in the back part of this cave, you will find the item, the Masterpiece Ika. And you can use them on the Poltergeist. I'm going to be saving mine for shiny versions. So let me know what you're going to do with yours. Hoot Hoot is going to evolve at level 20 into Knocked Owl. Fentred is going to evolve at level 15 into Ferret. Apom is going to be a Pokemon Violet exclusive. So if you need that in your game, you're going to have to trade that with a Violet player. Now, in order for it to evolve into Abipom, it's going to need to know the move double hit. Luckily for you, you can find a high level Apom in the game in Pokemon Violet. Just go into its moves and you can change it up to be double hit. If it already has it, you're set. All you have to do is just get it one level higher and it'll evolve into the lovely Ambipom. Vulpix is a very simple Pokemon as it's just going to need a Firestone to evolve into Ninetales. The Ghost Fire Pokemon Litwick evolves into Lampet at level 41. You're then going to need a Dusk Evolution Stone in order to evolve Lampent into Chandelure. To evolve Slugma into Marcargo, you're going to have to be at level 38. Just one level if you find a high leveled one, and just like that, you'll have your Marcargo. So Phoebus is actually a tricky Pokemon to find in the game, so let me show you the location real quick before we do a trade. In order to get Phoebus, you want to head over to the Crystal Pool. Once you head over there, you're going to cross this bridge and wrap around until you get into a cave over here. You're then going to enter the cave and completely drop down below. Once you land on the floor, you're going to see another open area opposite of where a trainer is. Just go ahead and head down that hole as well. You're then going to drop into a puddle of water, which if you walk away and come back to, you can find a Phoebus spawning in that. If you want to go further into this cave, you can also do that by moving forward over here. If you don't happen to see a Phoebus, you can just walk in and out of the area or take out a bunch of different Pokemon until the Phoebus does spawn. But this is the spot where it does spawn. Once you catch that, you're going to need a Prism Scale in order to evolve it into Milotic. To get your first Prism Scale in this game, you just have to catch a bunch of Pokemon in the Kitakami region until you have a certain amount of Pokemon and the Dex Award will give you that. Attach the Prism Scale to Milotic and then you can go ahead and trade that to a friend. A safe option would be to also trade that Milotic to someone who needs a Milotic. You can head over to our Discord if you want to do that at discord.gg slash invite slash phillybeats you. That'll be linked in the comments down below. Once you trade out the Phoebus, you'll get the Milotic Evolution and they can trade your Milotic right back to you. The next Pokemon that we are going to be evolving is Poliwag. At level 25, Poliwag will evolve into Poliwhirl. If you give Poliwhirl a Water Stone, it'll evolve right into Poliwrath, the water fighting type. But if you put a King's Rock on Poliwhirl, and then trade it, it'll evolve into Politoed. The safe way to do this is to, of course, trade with somebody you know or go to the Discord, as I mentioned before. Orpish will evolve at level 30 into Crawdunt. Lotad will evolve into Lombre at level 14. And in order to evolve Lombre into Ludicolo, you're going to need a Water Stone. Once you give it to Lombre, it'll then evolve into Ludicolo. 
Ducklet will evolve into Swana at level 35. Now the Hisuian Basculin does exist in the game, but something that you should know is that the male and the female Basculins respectively evolve into different Bascule Legions. Now in order to do this, your Basculin male or your Basculin female just needs to take 294 recoil damage. So you pretty much can just attack a Pokemon, it's going to hit them, you're going to lose some HP, and you continue to do this until you kind of estimate that it has lost 294. Once it levels up after that, it It'll evolve into a Basque Legion Red if it's a male, or like this example, it evolved into the Basque Legion that looks white if it's female. And the cool part is the shinies of both these things are also completely different colors. In order to evolve Phantom into Trevenant, you're just going to need to trade it. Luckily for you, there are Trevenants roaming around in the game. You're gonna have to trade it. In order to evolve Applin into Diplin, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is head over to the flying point at the Mossfell Confluence all the way towards the southeast part of the map. Once you're there, just go ahead and start heading towards the east. When you continue going east, you're going to notice a little shack in the distance and a little apple tree farm. Just head over towards that location and when you're by it, you'll see an apple stand. Go ahead and go up to it that says delicious syrupy apples for sale at 500 each. You can go ahead and grab as many as you need and you can share a bunch of diplins with the world. I luckily prepared and got myself a shiny apple ahead of time, so mine was able to evolve once I put the syrupy apple on it into a shiny diplin, which is a nice gold color. Bellsprout evolves at level 21 into Weeping Bell, and then you're going to need a Leaf Stone to evolve Weeping Bell into Victory Bell. When you grab a C dot, you can evolve it at level 14 into Nuzleaf, and then you're going to also need a Leaf Stone to evolve Nuzleaf into Shift Tree. Gligar is a Pokemon exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, so in order to evolve this one, you're going to have to give it a Razor Fang at nighttime and then evolve it to get a Gliscor. You can get a Razor Fang by completing Pokédex rewards in the Kitakami region. In order to evolve Yanma, you must know the move Ancient Power. Catch a high level one in the area, go through its moves, and replace one of its current ones with Ancient Power if it's there. If it's there, go ahead, just level it one once that move is equipped to the Pokémon, and then it'll evolve into a Yan Mega. Timber evolves into Girder at level 25, and then Girder has to be traded in order for you to get a Conkodor. Again, I suggest you go to our Discord and the pinned comment to find someone to trade with that way you don't get scammed on your Pokemon. And you'll have a nice Conco door waiting for you. Volibee evolves at level 54 into Mandibuzz. Gangma O evolves at level 35 into Hakama O O. Evolves at level 45 into Kamo O. That's the one, Kamo O. Mean Fu evolves at level 50 into Mean Shao. When you get a coughing at level 35, it'll evolve into a wheezing. Ekans will evolve at level 22 into Arbuck. Finorak will evolve at level 22 into Ariados. Swinub evolves at level 33 into Pilloswine. And in order to evolve your Pilloswine further, you're going to make sure it has the move equipped Ancient Power. If it's too low level, you should level it up a bit until it does know this move. Once it knows Ancient Power, just one more level and it'll evolve into an amazing Mamoswine. Geodude evolves at level 25 into a Graveler, and you're then going to have to trade it to get a Golem. Anshu evolves at level 22 into Sand Slash. In order to evolve Nose Pass, all you're going to need is a Thunderstone. Once you put the Thunderstone on Nose Pass, it is then going to evolve into a Probo Pass. Grubbin evolves into Charger Bug at level 20, and then once you give it a Thunderstone, it'll evolve into one of the coolest bug Pokemon, Vikavolt. Beautify evolves at level 25 into Rabombi. Duskull evolves at level 37 into Dusclops. And then you're going to need the item Reaper Cloth, which you can get from the Kitakami Pokédex rewards. You're going to attach that onto Dusclops and then trade it in order to get a Dusknoor. Again, make sure you're in the Discord for that. Uchiena evolves into Mariena at level 18. And now for the last couple of Pokemon, we're going to need High Friendship in order to evolve it. Now, a trick in order to get High Friendship as fast as possible is to go ahead and get yourself Soothe Belt. You can find a Soothe Belt by going all the way back to a Delibird Mart in Paldea region. 
Sooth Bells are only going to run you about 5,000. And if you're going to want to evolve four Pokemon at the same time with High Friendship, then you're going to need to spend about 20 grand in order to do this. Now, another trick you can do to get faster friendship is either catch the Pokemon in a friend ball. You can also feed them berries to increase their friendship, which is probably the fastest way of doing it. Or you can also go into a camp and shower them to raise their friendship. Once you battle with them, walk around with them and raise all that friendship, you're going to have Cleffa evolving into Clefairy at that point of high friendship with one extra level. In order to evolve Clefairy into Clefable, you're going to need a Moonstone. Cleffa is also going to be located in the same cave as Milotic. You're just going to have to go to the Crystal Pool and head all the way down there. Sometimes they will spawn above in the Crystal Pool area at nighttime. For Chingling, you can do the exact same thing. Chingling will then evolve with high friendship if it levels once at night. Iwato evolves at level 20 into Swad Loon. And with the high friendship and the Shell Bell and all the friendship stuff, it'll then evolve into Levani once it gains one level. If you catch a Munchlax, and eventually once it has enough friendship and it levels once, it'll evolve into a Snorlax. Congrats, you now know how to evolve every single new Pokemon in the Teal Mask. But do you know about this? You should click on this video.